डियर स्टूडेंट गत काली आम दुईट भिड देखी पंद्रह मिनट भितर सब पोएट्री पढ़ी आउ पंद्रह मिनट भोका लांगुएज स्टडी डिस्कसन कर आज प्रोज से पचिश मिनिट भितर सब चैप्टर कोड़े मिनिट भितर सब चैप्टर रोश्चिन आम डिस्कसन कर डिस्कसन कर तुम्हें शुण आउ नीटर कहीं छाड़ा नीटर स्टडीजर दस मार्क पढ़ुचे कभर करवा तेणु जब तुम हो जाए आखि बंद करीडियो को लास्ट जाए शुणी निटलिस्ट ताले तुम सब नोट चैप्टर मन रही दस रु दस रही असुविधा हम ना जेहतु क्विकली कह पड़ी तेनाली किसी असुविधा हम तेज़ मतलब कमेंट कर सब रेडी अच्छी तुम कमेंट आंसर दबापी तुम कल को रिसीव करने जी प्रोब्लेम हो बेटर हम तुम्हें पीडीएफ डाउनलोड कर दिव्य प्लेलीस्ट ना डन डिटेल सेक्शन बहुत भल हम तेज़ भिड स्टार्ट भिडियो को शुणी नि मन दे कि सब रिकल कर सब तुम हो जाए एक्जाम बहुत भल हम तेज़ भिड स्टार्ट फास्ट ए टाइगर इन द हाउस बाय हूम इज द स्टोरी ए टाइगर इन द हाउस रिटेन द स्टोरी ए टाइगर इन द हाउस इज रिटेन बाय रस्किन बॉन्ड हु वाज तिमोती तिमोती वाज ए टाइगर कप व्वेन डीड गांडफादर डिस्कभर द टाइगर कप गांडफादर डिस्कभर द टाइगर कप अन् ए हंटिंग एक्सपेडिशन इन द तेरई जंगल नियर टेरा पे मैंने आखि बन कह शुणी नियो मन रही जी ह्वाय वाज द गांडफादर इनक्लूडेड इन द पार्ट द गांडफादर वाज इनक्लूडेड इन द पार्ट आज इन यू द फरेस्ट अफ द सिवालिक हिल्स बेटर दैन मोस्ट पीपुल Where did the important persons come from? The important persons came from came from Delhi. Why did the important persons accompany the party? The important persons accompanied the party to advise on the land and the direction the victors should take once a tiger had been stopped, spotted. How many large tents uh, did the hunting party have? The hunting party had seven large tents. How many elephants were there in the hunting expedition? There were fifteen elephants in the hunting party. How many elephants were there for the shikaris? There were four elephants for the shikaris. The sportsman never saw a tiger. Who does the sportsman here? The sportsman is supposed to uh, the shikaris in the hunting party. What did the hunters not see in the jungle? The hunters did not see a tiger in the jungle. What did the sportsman see in the jungle? The sportsman saw a number of deer, peacocks, and wild boar. What did the members of hunting party do when they gave up all hope of finding a tiger? When the members of the hunting party gave up all hope of finding a tiger, they began to shoot at jackals. Where did grandfather discover the tiger cub? Grandfather discovered the tiger cub among the intricate roots of a banyan tree. How long was the tiger cub? The tiger cub was 18 inches long. Why was uh, grandfather famous in the hunting party? Grandfather was famous in the hunting party as he was the only member of the party to have bagged any game, dead or alive. Who named the tiger cub and who brought it up? The grandmother named the tiger cub and the cook mammoth brought it up. What did the grandfather do with the tiger cub? The grandfather took the tiger cub to his home. Who gave milk to Timothy in a feeding bottle? Mammoth the cook gave milk to Timothy in a feeding bottle. What was the diet of the tiger cub? Raw mutton, cod liver oil, pigeon and rabbits. Who were Timothy's companions at home? Brand Toto the monkey and a small mongrel puppy. Who was bold enough to pull the young tiger by the tail? Toto the monkey. When did Timothy lost his temper? Timothy lost his temper when Toto the monkey pulled his tail. What did Toto do when Timothy got angry with him? Toto used to climb up the curtains when Timothy got angry with him. Where did the grandfather find the puppy? The grandfather found the puppy from the road. Who did Timothy appear to be quite afraid of? Timothy appeared to be quite afraid of the puppy. Who crawled on Timothy's back and rested there? The puppy crawled on Timothy's back and rested there. What was Timothy's one of favorite amusements? Timothy's one of favorite amusements was to stalk anyone who should prank question was to stalk anyone who should play with him. When did the writer become one of the one of Timothy's favorites? The writer became one of Timothy's favorites when he came to live with grandfather. He would creep closer and closer to me. Who is the speaker here? The writer. Which was Timothy's favorite place in the house? Important question. Timothy's favorite place. Come on, now drawing room. When did Timothy snarl at people? When uh, people tried to get him off the long sofa in the drawing room. Why did Timothy sleep at night? Also important. At uh, by in the cook's quarters. Uh, when was Timothy delighted? Timothy was delighted at being laid out by Mamud the cook in the uh, in the morning. How old was Timothy when he grew to be less friendly? One more question. Answer about about six months old. What did the writer's family find all over the veranda? Answer about the feathers of the poultry. Why did grandfather decide to transport Timothy to a zoo? Important question. Uh, when Timothy began to stalk Mahmud about the house with a villainous intent, 
Grandfather decided to transfer it to a Jew. What was the nearest Jew and how far is it from the uh, house of the writer's grandfather? The nearest Jew was at Lucknow and it is 200 miles from the house of the writer's grandfather. Who were else other than grandfather and Timothy in the first class compartment? Answer above. There were no one other than grandfather and Timothy in the first class compartment. Why were the Jew authorities glad? The Jew authorities were glad to receive Timothy as a well-fed and fairly civilized tiger. What opportunity did the grandfather take when he went to Lucknow for the second time? Uh, when grandfather went to Lucknow for the second time, he took the opportunity of visiting the Jew to see how Timothy was getting on. When did the grandfather visit the Jew and why? Grandfather visited the Jew about six months later when he along with the grandfather were visiting relatives in Lucknow. Which words did grandfather quote when he saw Timothy in the cage? When grandfather saw Timothy in the cage, he quoted, Hello Timothy. Why did grandfather sew the leopard away? Answer. Grandfather sewed the leopard away as it snarled at Timothy. I am talking to Timothy who said this. Grandfather said this. Why don't you transfer Timothy to another cage away from this stupid leopard? Who, uh, who did the grandfather say this? How did the grandfather said this to the second keeper he met? Uh, what did the keeper say to grandfather about the tiger? The keeper said to the grandfather about the tiger that the tiger was trapped in the hills only last month and it was really very dangerous please continue your conversation who said this please continue your conversation the surprised keeper said this who according to the grandfather was stupid the leopard was stupid one very important question how did timothy die timothy died of pneumonia itla completion how fill in the blanks sei bitre achi tumi ta ko padhi nabo ta pare ame the beggar question answer suniba who is the writer of the story the beggar anton chikov the beggar said that he had nothing to eat for days Three days. The beggar said that he had not dash for a lodging five kopecks. The beggar told Sergei that he had not five kopecks for a dash lodging. The beggar told that he was dash for eight years a village school teacher. The beggar said that he was a, a village school teacher for dash years eight years. The beggar said that he had lost the job of a village school teacher through dash through interviews. The beggar said that he had nothing to do for dash one year. Who was Sergei? Sergei was an advocate. Sergei looked at the red dash overcoat of the beggar, fawn colored. Sergei looked at the dash eyes of the beggar, dull and drunken. The beggar had red spot on dash either cheek. I have now uh, an offer of a position in the province of Kaluga. Who said this? The beggar or mendicant? The beggar told that he had got a position in the dash province of Kaluga. Next, take it why did the mendicant ask for some money to get at his new place of posting in the province of Kaluga? The mendicant said that he was obliged to ask money by death and serve circumstances. I am obliged to buy circumstances. Who said this? Answer about the beggar. Where did uh, Sergei's eyes fallen? Answer about Sergei's eyes fell on the beggar's overshoes. What were the beggar's overshoes like? One was high and the other was low. What did Sergei remember? Sergei remembered that he had seen the man before. Sergei remembered that he had met the man the day before yesterday in Das Sadobe Street. What did the beggar identify himself at Sadobe Street? Answer about the beggar identified himself as an expelled student at Sadobe Street. The beggar told that he was a village school teacher and he was ready to show him, him for his Das answer about papers. Why did Sergei get angry with the beggar? Sergei got angry with the beggar since he was lying. Sergei flushed and turned from the wrecked creature with an expression of death and about disgust. This is dishonesty, my dear sir. Who is the speaker here? Answer Sergei. Uh, why did Sergei threaten the beggar to hand him over to the police? Because he was lying and cheating the people. What did the beggar confess? The beggar confessed that he was neither a student nor a teacher. What did the beggar tell uh, about his job? The beggar told that he was working as a singer in a Russian choir. Why was the beggar sent away from job due to drunkenness? The beggar told Sergei that nobody would give him anything if he told Dias the truth. While admitting that he was lying, the beggar laid his hand on his Dias on his heart. Uh, what did the beggar say about skilled woodcutters in those days? Answer the beggar said that skilled woodcutters find themselves sitting without bread. What did Sergei tell the beggar to do? Sergei told the beggar to chop wood for him. Sergei hastened along rubbing his dash and sort of hands. When Sergei reached home with the beggar, he called his dash out of the kitchen, called his cook. Who was Sergei's cook? Answer Olga. 
Sergei was uh, Sergei told Olga to take the beggar into the dash and Sir Ur said what was the beggar looking like like a scarecrow the scarecrow of a beggar dash his shoulders and Sir shrugged the beggar had consented to chop wood as dash as he had been trapped by his own words how had the beggar strength been undermined and Sir the beggar strength had been undermined by vodka the beggar did not feel the slightest inclination for dash and sir toil. Sergei observed everything uh, through the windows of dash, the dining room. After sending Olga and the beggar into the woodshed, Sergei hurried into the dash and sir dining room. Near the door of the woodshed, Olga glared wrathfully at dash and sir her companion, who unlocked the shed and angrily banged the on the door and sir Olga. Near the door, Olga swapped the beggar aside with dash and sir elbow. Whom did Sergei consider a pseudo teacher? Answer Sergei considered the beggar. Can consider the answer the beggar. The beggar entered the woodshed and scat himself on a dash on a log. Olga flung down dash at the beggar's feet and serve an axe. The beggar irresolutely pulled dash towards him a billet of wood. During his second attempt to chop the stick of wood, the beggar tapped it with his axe dash cautiously. C A U T I O U S L Y. At first, the beggar pulled a billet of wood towards him and tapped it dash with the X feebly. Why did Sergei feel a little sorry? Sergei felt a little sorry and ashamed of himself for having said, a spoiled, drunken, perhaps a sick man to walk in the cold. Next, Pekiba. What did Olga announce an hour later? An hour later, Olga announced that the wood had all been chopped. While, tra while tapping the billet of wood, the beggar was afraid of dash, hitting his overshoe or cutting his finger. Sergei's anger dashed when he saw the drunken uh, Sikh beggar's inability to chop wood and sir vanished. Sergei's anger had vanished. Uh, what did Sergei order Olga when he came to know that all the wood had all been chopped? He ordered Olga to give, a, uh, give half a ruble uh, to the beggar. What other work did Laskov have to do besides chopping wood? Kona kona kama 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 Na sobel snow, put the wood shed in order and beat the dust out of rocks and mattresses. How much did the beggar receive every time from Sergei? Every time ke 30 20 to 40 copecks. Why did Sergei hire the beggar at the time of moving into another house? And so at the time of moving into another house, Sergei hired the beggar for packing and hauling up the furniture. At the time of Sergei shifting to another house, the beggar uh, has become dash, sober, gloomy and silent. The beggar walked behind the wagons dash, hanging his head. While walking behind the wagons, the beggar uh, not even made pretense of dash appearing busy. After shifting into another house, beggar gave dash to the beggar a ruble. Well, I am happy that my words have uh, taken effect. Who said this? Sergei. Sergei saw that the beggar had become sober and no objection to dash work. What was the name of the beggar? Loskop. Sergei offered Loskop a dash employment cleaner. What was the cleaner employment for Loskop? Uh, copying C O P Y I N G. What was Sergei parting advice to Laskov? Not to drink but to work hard. Not to drink but to work, or work hard. How did Sergei behave at the time of Laskov's departure from his house? Kindly uh, tapped him kindly on the shoulder and even gave him, a, gave him his hand. Tapare Sergei met Laskov again after 10 years, 2 years. Where did Sergei meet his former woodchopper? Sergei met his former woodchopper near the ticket window of a theater. Near the ticket window of a theater. What did Sergei notice when he was standing at the ticket window of a theater? Confused for the Now he noticed a little man beside him with a coat collar of curly fur and a worn silkskin cap. The little individual timidly asked for ticket seller for a seat in the dash gallery. Who was the little individual here? Answer Laskov. Laskov paid for his seat in dash coins, copper coins. What did Laskov tell Sergei about his job at the last meeting? Laskov was getting 35 rubles. 35 rubles was the answer. How much did Laskov get every month as a notary? Mandrika notary say 35 rubles. I am delighted for your sake. Who said this? Sergei. Uh, Sergei told Laskov that in a sense he was his dash godson. Mandrika is godson. Dharma Putra. I am very glad indeed. Who said this? Sergei. What did Laskov ask the ticket seller timidly? Uh, for a seat in the gallery. Laskov was grateful to Dias, grateful to both Sergei and Olga. God bless that good and noble woman who said this Laskov. At the last meeting, Laskov thanked Sergei for his kind Dias, words and deeds. Laskov told that he would 
be indebted to Sergei to his dad's answer dying day, who really saved and changed the beggar's life. Olga, the cook. Uh, Laskov uh, told Sergei that owing to Olga's words and dad's, a change took place in his heart, noble deeds. What was the chief thing that Laskov told Sergei about Olga? She used to chop all the wood for him. Third note study, the village judge Ramay discussion kariba. Who are great friends? Juman second, Albu Chaudhary. Who had an old aunt? Juman. What did Juman's old aunt possess? A small piece of property. What did Juman convince his old aunt to transfer the property to his name? Juman had dared his aunt to transfer her property to his name. Persuaded. When the property was transferred to Juman's name, all kindness dares vanished. Who was Juman's wife? Kariman. How did Juman and his wife behave to the old aunt when the property was transferred? Harshly and rudely. I can't go on like this anymore. Who said this? The old aunt. Uh, why did the old aunt uh, ask Juman for some money to cook and eat separately? Money does not grow on trees here. Who said this? Juman Sikh. Why did the old aunt get angry? Because Juman refused to pay her the money. When Juman refused to give her any money, the old aunt threatened to call Dias, call a panchayat. What did the old aunt run from village to village with? A stick in her hand. Why did Algo hesitate to say the honest thing in the panchayat? Answer, fearing a quarrel. After making her rounds, the aunt came at last to Dias, Algo Chaudhary, who was Juman's old friend. Answer, Algo Chaudhary. What continued to echo in Algo's heart? Answer, the words of old aunt. Uh, will you hesitate to say the honest thing because you fear a quarrel? Who said this? Answer, old aunt. Where did the first panchayat meet? Answer, under a tree. Uh, when did the first panchayat meet? When? Answer, about one evening. Whom would you like to be the punch? Who said to whom? On to Juman. Son, half fear of God. Who said this? The old aunt. Whom did the old aunt nominate as the chief judge? Answer, Algu Chaudhary. When the old aunt selected Algu as chief judge, Juman was dead. Answer, overjoyed. Algu did not want to be mixed up in the dash. Answer, affair. Nobody can sell his dash for friendship conscience. Juman was now dash that he had won, confident. Juman imagined that Algu stock was dash, mere so. What was the problem with Juman when Algu started asking questions? Found hard to answer. Found hard to answer. Uh, how did Juman state his case? Answer with his heart at peace. What was the judgment of Algu in the panchayat to pay the old aunt monthly expenses? Man, an important question to pay the old aunt monthly expenses. Uh, what should Juman do if he did not agree to pay the monthly expenses? Answer to return the property to the old aunt. Juman had uh, never expected such a dash from Algu. Judgment. Tapare, what broke the uh, friendship between Juman and Algu? Answer Algu's judgment against Juman. Juman began to think of taking Dias, answer revenge. What had Algu bought from Payar? Payar, a very beautiful pair blocks. When did one of the bullocks of Algu happen to die? A month after Juman's panchayat. What did Algu suspect about the death of the bullock? Juman had poisoned his bullock. Who said Juman is behind this? Answer Algu's wife. Uh, why did Algu decide to sell his bullock? Answer a single bullock was of no use to him. What did Samju Sahu carry to the tower market? Answer ghee and sugar. What did Samju Sahu return from the town market with? Answer salt and oil. Manrakhi was return with salt and oil, no utla, carry kutla, ghee and sugar. Samju promised to Algu to pay the uh, price of the bullock dash, answer in a month's time. Samju Sahu began to dash the bullock, overwork. What did not Samju give to the bullock? Answer neither food nor water. How many trips did Samju do? 3 to 4 trips a day. One evening, Sahuji put double load on the bullock during the dash, fourth trip. Sahuji dashed the bullock with greatest cruelty. Answer, whipped. What was the price of Algu's bullock? Answer, 150 rupees. What did the good people of the village advise Algu to take the matter into the panchayat? To take the matter into the panchayat. Uh, the panchayat again met under a tree after their stage three days. Let Sahu have his own choice. Who said this? Algu. Samju nominated Dias on his behalf uh, as the punch in the second panchayat. Answer, Juman. Why did According to Juman, in the second panchayat, the bullock died for having been driven too hard and without feeding it. Important question for having driven too hard and without feeding it. Uh, Algu Chaudhary became dash after Juman's judgment answer happy. Uh, what did Juman think after becoming the punch answer? He should stick to the truth and nothing but the truth. What was the judgment of the second panchayat answer? Samju would pay. Uh, the full price of the bullock to Algu. Long live the god that is the punch. Who said this? Answer Algu Chaudhary. After a short uh, while, Juman approached Algu had dashed him. Answer about embarrassed. Itla, the village judge of Batanami, a green as big as a hensek or Suniba. Who is the writer of the story, a green as big as a hensek? Answer about Leo Tolstoy. 
uh, what did some children find one day answer about a thing shaped like a grain of corn a thing shaped like a grain of corn who bought the thing from the children answer a traveler who did the traveler sell it answer about to the king what did the king tell the wise men to find out answer the king told the wise men to find out what the thing was how was the thing found to be a grain of corn answer the thing was found to be a grain of corn after a hen had picked up the thing and made a hole in it it was a grain of corn who said this the wise men what did the king order the lord men to do answer to tell him when and where uh, such corn had grown what did the lord men do to find out the answer they thought carefully and uh, searched in their books what did the lord men tell the king at last the lord men told the king to ask the peasants to get the answer how was the very old peasant brought to the king answer the uh, king servant found a very old peasant and brought him to the king uh, how was the um, a very old peasant answer of old and bent asipel and toothless next remember what did the very old peasant do when the king showed him the grain answer when the king showed him the grain the pigeon took it and felt it with his hands uh, what did the king ask the very old pigeon uh, when and where uh, grain like such had grown what did the very old pigeon reply to the king's question the very old pigeon replied to the king that he had never sowed or reaped any like that in his field nor had he ever bought any such what did he propose to king he proposed the king to ask his father how did the very old pigeon's father come to the king the very old pigeon's father came to the king with one crutch man with one crutch uh, what was the very old pigeon's father like the very old pigeon's father was hard of hearing yet he had better than his son what did the very old uh, farmer's father say to the king about money about money the very old uh, farmer's father told the king that in his time money was not yet in use how was the uh, old pigeon's grandfather came to learn about walking without crutches his eyes were clear his hearing good and he spoke st- distinctly what was what did grandfather say to the king about corn uh, grandfather said to the king about corn that uh, in his young days he lived on corn like that and fed others in it and uh, used to sow reap and harvest it tapare what did the grandfather tell about selling or buying bread in front question the grandfather told that selling or buying bread was considered as a sin in this time what did the grandfather tell about money the grandfather told the king that uh, they knew nothing about money told that they knew nothing about money what was free in grandfather's time land which was the only thing men called their own labor in front question land labor man rakhiba what was free in grandfather's time land which was the only thing men called their own labor man rakhiba who was able to give answer ki answer the uttar ready thila ba ki answer the grandfather or the pigeon's grandfather tapare fill in the blanks the station one day dash found a thing shaped like a grain of corn some children dash bought the thing from the children a traveler the traveler said that the thing shaped like a grain of corn to dash the king the king ordered that dash should be brought for him some very old pigeon as to buying the very old pigeon's father told that in his time dash was not yet in use money grandfather entered the court working dash easily grandfather told that buying or selling was a dash in his time sin sin ma papo sin 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 a dash was free land dash was the only thing men called their own labor man rakhi important question labor according to grandfather his dash was god's heart his field his field tale ye thila agree nas bigaz or hence chatti jako नोट स्टडी आम शेष करदे भिड तुम निश्चय भल लगे और रिविजन हो प्रिवियस इयर क्वेश्चन मैं प्राक्ट करके एक्जाम को जी गड ब्लेस यू अल द बेस्ट